am literally holding a Nerf bazooka. Not an extreme bazooka, not your daddy's bazooka, but quite possibly, I, 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 I say this with basically no hyperbole, maybe a little bit, this is one of the coolest things I'd ever seen. When I first saw this, I believe it was on a Reddit post, but you said you posted on Nerf Modders Welcome. I saw this thing, and when you look at it, it's not all that complicated. You might have no idea, but this thing is an air blaster powered by a drain blaster, right? Drain, not buster, drain blaster. Yeah. Which is used to unclog your toilets after to a Taco Tuesday, and yet this thing has been heavily modified to be a bazooka. It's got a heavily, it's, it's a heavily modified stampede as you called it. Indeed. It's got a stampede kind of buttstock area with this right there, which is meant to be the shoulder mount. Then you've got the grip right here, the pump, and then a Raider 4 grip right there. And yeah, if I pump this up a couple of times, and it could do a lot more than this, but... <laughs> it's a Nerf bazooka. If you've wanted to be the soldier from TF2, this is it. This is about as good as it gets. Absolutely incredible. Chalo, please tell us how you built that. It, it is remarkably simple, like you said. The, the modifications to the drain blaster itself, all I did was add thread to the end. Uh, you could glue it on, you could, I've done it a number of ways. Mine's actually just friction fit, drilled out the inside, sanded out the outside so it would fit, put it on there, maybe five minutes, and it was then able to fire any of the attachments that I built for Iyer. So any of the various barrel attachments that could go on Iyer's Titan launcher, I can put on this. So I can fire any kind of Nerf ammo. Elites, Mega, uh, Rival, the Nerf rockets, Big Bad Bow rockets, Pump rockets, uh, any, any of the various missile types, they all just thread on inside the barrel. It also has an absolver Maverick cylinder that will shoot six darts. Which is not hard to come by, oh, it is right, a Maverick. Yeah. I've got a dozen Mavericks at home and a couple more are gonna go into this. I have plans to build one of these as a mortar. So firing indirectly, have a... Should just put a bipod on the front of Basically, this Basically, that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be similar design, except it'll be mounted upside down, so you pump it this way against the tripod support and then- You might as well get the full bike pump. Yeah, like, ah! I have, that was my original design, <laughs> original idea, and then one of these came along. I also plan to make an absolver shotgun one that's got easier cylinder change out than the thread. Um, and you do have a single one if you choose to use it. Yes. No boom co attachment though. Not yet. Not yet. I, <laughs> give me time. Give you time. It's like Batman, you my, have enough time, he builds my, anything. My goal is to be able to, uh, my, for Iyer, for instance, it was, I want to be able to, no matter what my opponent is shooting at me, I want to be able to shoot it back. And no matter what my his opponent is shooting, I want to be able to shoot something he can't shoot back. So thus I designed a rig that'll fire pretty much anything. So it, it's it's PVC pipe? Uh, ABS. ABS but, pipe. Yeah. So it's, okay. Remarkably, it is the exact perfect diameter for the blaster. To the millimeter. It's you wonder if they weird. planned that. It may actually be a feature for blasting ABS pipe things. So you can just stick the whole thing inside. I'm guessing and pump so. It. Yeah. That'd be my guess. I think it's four inch I, ABS. And these are server mounts. They're part of server. I got. I worked at a hospital and they were just throwing away junk when they redid their servers and didn't want them anymore. So I got about 20 of them. Just bolted that on there. Did some simple paint job. This zombie. zombie. Because they don't, I don't think any of the new Zombie Strike Blasters give you stencils, but no, the but Zombie Strike Blasters used to come with yeah, stencils. Yeah, the Hammer Shot, I know it was the first one I got. Yeah, Raider stock on the front. This is from when I uh, made a Stampede SMG, cut off the stock, uh, just a normal cap on it, and that's pretty much it. I recently replaced these side plates because the original ones cracked. They were orange and a little bit better shape, but I'll, I'll fix that up. But, uh, that's yeah. absolutely incredible. And there's nothing in the back yet, but he does have plans I'm toying with the idea of, yeah, making an ammo storage back there to keep rockets, but you need to it's not have, like, like I have a shortage of pouches. Have, have a tea, tea. I know and this I know this might upset you. I'm not trying to tell you what you should do. <laughs> uh, but maybe consider having, like, a tea valve connected to the pump on the uh, drain blaster, co connected to whatever stupid little tank, like if you could get a 2K tank or something, and have that inside of a plastic bag. So you wad up a plastic bag and put it in the back, so every single time you fire, it goes through both tubes. And on the little tiny tank, or just every time you fire, it would go through, it would trigger both blasters. Right, right. You can do that with the push button thing. Yeah. And you have a bag that shoots out the back, like the back way from a bazooka. 
a stupid it. idea, but one my originals I was actually gonna have a bike pump in the back that you pumped. But then once again, they came out with a drain blaster, yeah. which was just and it's so a remarkably simple. Not I have to explain this because this is kind of my thing. This thing is really comfortable. Like you put two fingers on the trigger, the trigger is a hair trigger, it's very easy to pull. It is a very nice rubberized grip. The drain blaster has been touted as basically better than a Titan in every way. It's the secret shot to turned up to max. It is incredible. And when I saw this thing, it's like, I have to build one of these eventually. But <laughs> here you are. Here I am. I was, well, I had seen this thing and then all of a sudden I meet the dude who built. I could not believe that. Yeah, I was shocked. I was like, oh, there's a Nerf War. Who's going? I know him. I've seen his videos. I'm going to embarrass the hell out of myself. Oh my god, it's really, it's just a small world. We just got done talking to a dude who came, he, he knew Kyle, the guy who sent me the Power Strike 48. Like, he play, he was wearing a burn shirt, a Bay Area Urban Nerf whatever shirt. It, it, it's such a small world. This is an amazing hobby, seriously. The creativity that people put in this stuff, I just can't get past it. Make sure you check out the other video where we go over all of his crazy gear. <sighs> I'm Walcom S7. Thank you very much for watching this video. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one.